So we're going to get the flags here. Welcome back. And we're going to be doing your ship now. So, uh, Yay. Thank you for bringing the ship into the review, first of all. Uh, what is the name of the ship? No problem. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yes. The name of the ship is Freedom Frigator. Name of what? Freedom Frigator. Freedom Frigator. Yep. Excellent. Or Freedom Frigator. I like it. It's got a nice sort of Cylon style head, but with yeah, with, with kind of looks like it's got horns, even though they're not horns. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> so that's kind of fresh. Um, liking that. The interior is got some interesting detailing on it. Got some chairs in here, I see. Moving down, we're just going to sort of, because it's such a big ship, I'm just going to kind of x-ray it and move down through a few of your rooms. Um, All right. Got a nice cool room, I believe. And we've got some rooms. I can see where you are. So that's a nice use of uh, terrain there, actually. What terrain is that there on that table? Oh, uh, that's just uh, normal grass. Normal grass, okay, right, and then we go down again, and we've got more stuff down here, a little grass view screen, or leaves? Yeah, huh. best view screen you can have. <laughs> oh, and what's that for then? Oh, uh, that's just a little vent, it's supposed to be kind of plasma-ish, over there. Huh. All sides. Okay, cool. So that's uh, all that. Then we go down again and we're out of the ship. We're yep. out of the head anyway. So is there any interior in the back section? Uh, no. Everything in the back is pretty much just uh, fish systems. There's some really nice uh, detailing on the uh, main body up here and the struts connecting down to the wings and the engine pods. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm just sort of doing a few shots of that because... It's interesting where you've used interior areas just for more detail. Indeed. Which is cool. Got a really nice design on the neck here as well. But, uh, yeah, tried to make it look like there's a power conduit going in between. The glow, yeah. The glow, the attention with the lighting is very nice. So moving back, we've got the engine and the weapons pods, I'm guessing. Weapons as well, yeah. I've got cannons up front. Yeah, the very, very ends are the uh, weapons. Nice wingy bits, lots of spiky things coming off. Makes it look a little bit more organic, less of a rectangle. Yeah. And what is the purpose of this thing here? Are they just to hide the extenders? You got like a uh. cap sticking out with some rip. Yeah. If you look up at oh, the yawning. top of the main body, you can see a little bit of the uh, engine of the ship. Got a huge power con going in between it with some glass on both sides. Kind of, yeah. But yeah, that's really nice. So, is there any more interior to show on this one? No. I take it this one's more about turrets, is it? Or has it got any Indeed. cannons to show? Got some uh, fairly large cans on it. Okay, well aim away from the sign and fire at will. Alright. Okay, Let's see what it can do. Are you firing now? Yeah, I can't see it. That's okay. Oh, For some reason, I've got no more projectiles. It looks like someone must be shooting somewhere or something. So anyway, thank you for bringing that ship in for me. And uh, I'll be moving on to the next one in the review now. Please do drop by and bring this one in for Proving Grounds tests, because it looks like it could have a lot of fun. So, if you'd just like to basically fly off and enjoy the ship, <laughs> that's excellent. Indeed. Yeah, so thanks again. And uh, that was Phalanxia. And it was the Frigator? Freedom Frigator. The yeah. Freedom Frigator. So thanks again, and uh, see you soon.